Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up WordPress post meta table from empty values. The first thing is why do we need those to remove those values? Well, the consume space, even though if some of the values are empty. In one of the recent projects that we started checking is they had like 250,000 rows. Out of those, 50,000 were empty rows. And the empty rows are those ones that are empty. For example, meta value is zero or empty or null. And to me, it doesn't make sense to store empty values. And that will make your site faster because it's going to be querying the rows much faster. It's going to be looping through fewer data sets. And how to do it is you need to pick your favorite database manager. You can use phpMyAdmin or Adminer or whatever you like. And we have two commands. One of them is checking for empty value or null. And the other one specifically checks for a zero. We need two separate queries because we notice that the meta value is a text field and some text, the database was converting the text to zero, was evaluating it to zero during the comparison. So it has to be exactly zero. Let's switch quickly to the phpMyAdmin here. value is no or value equals empty we've cleaned out database up but still there could be some rows and as you can see this 26 rows that were added and that's that's not cool it's not cool. Let's copy the regular expression to find the zeros. There's few rows, but there were like 20,000 before the cleanup. So we did some work on this site. And as a result, there's few rows doesn't make sense to add review count or average rating total sales and to delete those values you need to copy this you inspect just in case because it will delete data and you want to back backup the database using two three ways to do it from the control panel and also from the command line if you can the more backups you have the better and let's copy on this thing oh nice so it deleted Maybe more than it had to. Oh, that was... Oh, damn. Oops. They had to separate it. For Christ's sake. Oops, it's good that we cut this thing. Right now, that's exactly what I was talking about. Those rows, they have to be separate they can be one uh, so there's a casting happening there's conversion the database converts the, the textual value to to zero and as you can see here it took a, a little bit of time to process those roles and it actually did and there's lots of warnings and now the site is is kind of not working so i have to restore from the backup 
and it's good that I took the backup and again it's super important to take backups and I already I'm gonna stress that 100% align I'm looking for the alignment And that's how you clean up the database. <laughs> Actually, let's let's run the last query and see if there's any rows left. Oh, that was funny. And it's funny because I have backup. If <laughs> I didn't have the backup, it would have been really stupid and would have been not cool at all. So it seems the previous query took care of a lot of things and now I'm assuming it's less than 50,000 oh, okay around 75 there were 250,000 rows I'm so glad I took that back up okay, so that's how you clean up the WordPress post made a table from empty values to go to this tutorial go to orbisius slash 7274 and join our newsletter here and also follow us on different social networks to find out more about our cool tutorials and plugins and products take care bye